What's going on guys? Welcome back to New Money Gang. I'm your co-host Leanne and joined with me are my buddies Ben and Justin. Now on today's show, we're gonna be talking about actual websites where you guys can generate cash. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways people can make money on the internet. And I know I got, you know, started digging on the internet, trying to look for ways to make money a long time ago. And I've done everything under the sun, pretty much. A lot of successes, a lot of failures. Uh, but definitely, I know that everybody's interested to try to learn how in this new economy to make money using the internet. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about some actual websites, like Leanne said. I mean, we're talking eBay, uh, Poshmark, uh, OfferUp, even Ben's favorite website, Craigslist. I hate Craig. I really hate Craig. So kind of the way I got into making money on the internet uh, was because I was trying to look for some tickets for a Falcons Packers playoff game back in 2011 where we got destroyed and Packers won the Super Bowl or whatever. And I figured out that like everybody was selling the same tickets on Craigslist. They were all a bunch of ticket brokers. And so I said, wow, I got to figure out how to get access to these tickets. And I worked through a company called Ticket Network, and that's where I discovered about white labeling and, you know, it kind of directing traffic and making money. Well, I sold all my tickets on Craigslist in their tickets by dealer section. And it's just like everything I did, they always were trying to remove all my ads, which if you didn't know, tickets by dealer is actually much safer than tickets by owner on Craigslist. You might get killed doing that. Uh, but... It's like overnight, there were some changes made on the site, and it cut my income down literally 90%. And it really put a bad taste in my mouth for, you know, making money online, and I just kept digging in. But it's just so crazy how, like, some people at the top of a business can make decisions that affect people so drastically, and they just don't care. So that's definitely why I got a, you know, love-hate relationship with Craigslist. You know what? I think that you and I have definitely talked about this before, and we'll get into this a little bit more later, but isn't that where you actually got into crypto as well? Yeah, funny story. That's actually how I got into cryptocurrency was because uh, all of those changes Craigslist was making, they shut down a software that I was using. They ended up shutting down the entire website and their payment processing. Uh, and what ended up happening is the guy had to take Bitcoin in 2012 and I had to learn how to buy it. And that's actually what got me invested into Bitcoin in the very beginning. So it's kind of a, you know, thanks, Craig. I guess that's the end of the day. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Craig. Well, speaking of crypto, and this is one of the sites that you can actually get involved with right now today. You can add the Lolly extension to your web browser and by just shopping, buying the things that you normally do online can earn Bitcoin. For example, over the last month or so, just buying the dog food that I normally would buy, I've earned over $100 just in Bitcoin, and that's an appreciating asset. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing that you can do just making money doing shopping that you normally do. And I'm actually really excited because Alex, the CEO and founder, co-founder of Lolly, is going to be a guest on the show pretty soon. That's going to be a really cool interview because he's had a lot of successes with internet startups, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that really brings up also, by the way, another really important question. Uh, which is, which flavor of dog food do you like the best, Justin? <laughs> I like the Junkie Purina or biscuits, I don't know. I figured you would. <laughs> wow, really incredible. Uh, that's, that's awesome. You know, affiliate marketing is kind of what Lolly really specializes in, and Alex as well. That's really where he got his start. And I think that affiliate marketing is one of these things, it's a buzzword you hear so much about out there, and they just make it sound like it's so easy. Like, we'll just give you a link. And whoever buys anything based on your link, you'll make money. But it's like really so complicated to really build that platform to be able to get people to click on your links. I know you know about building oh, a platform. Oh, yeah. There's, there's so many ins and outs with that and, and a lot of – it can actually be difficult. Sometimes it can be easy. But um, to have an affiliate link and having people, you know, pushing different – companies, it's really hard to, to actually get it out there. You have to have a, a decent following. You have to have decent communication with your followers and decent interaction as well. Yeah. It's all about the engagement. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely about the engagement, I, I would say for sure. Now, Leanne, you were telling us about a different kind of app where you can just earn money based on something you already do, right? Yeah. So uh, there's an app called Get Upside, and you actually, every time you fill up your gas tank, there's an app. You go on the app. It tells you what gas stations are around you, and they tell you either one cent up to 25 cents per gallon uh, every time you fill up. I've already made $155 with this app, and it's just super simple. Everyday activities, you just go on, find your station, you can add a credit card, and it just picks up and checks you in, so you don't even have to upload receipts or anything. It's pretty, pretty easy. The internet makes it easy sometimes. Absolutely. I don't know about you both, but I'm a shell man. 
anytime. I might even go a few extra miles to fill up at a Shell station. Ooh, are, Shell. We, are we plugging our favorite gas station? Shell yeah. is actually a part of this. Like, a oh. lot of Shells, a lot of BPs. It, it depends on your region, obviously, like, which gas stations are participating. But the way they actually make money is, you know, every gas station has markup on their fuel. Mm -hmm. So instead of them getting the markup, they, it, they encourage people to come to the station by you getting the difference. Yeah, because so, in reality, the gas stations don't make money off the gas. They make money off you going in and buying things. And you know exactly. what I found really fascinating is like there are people that just go to the pump, get out, pump it, and go. I literally always go inside the store. This will surprise no one probably. I'm always getting snacks at the gas station. He's a snacker. Beef jerky. Oh, of course. Come on. If you're on, if you're on a road trip, how do you not get beef jerky? Yeah. Unless you order a bunch of beef jerky from, like, Amazon, you know? Oh, yeah. You could definitely do that. They could that. drop, oh, and then you ship could put, it to you. And then you could put that in your ref link, and you yeah. could get your little kickbacks. Oh, yeah. That, Amazon has a thing, a program now where you can actually uh, have an affiliate link, and everything that you, you use every day, like uh, coffee makers, clothing, fishing line, everything that you use, you can actually put on your store as a favorite and you can use that and make money from Amazon with that. So let me ask you a question. Like it just break this down a little bit more for me because I don't know anything about that. Like for example, right. like the microphones we're using. Yes. The Yeti cups that we have here. Yep. I mean, these are things that we could put on there and if people go buy that, we'll yep. get a little kickback from Amazon. Yeah. If, it, if it's on Amazon, then you can make money on it. I like that. Yeah. There's obviously a myriad of ways to make money on the internet. But I think we can really break down what we've been talking about so far into two categories. There's ways that you can make extra money based on some things you're already doing. And then there's other sites out there where you actually can run businesses mm -hmm. and make money. And I think that's a, that's a big distinction. The, the yes. app you were talking about and then Lolly. But then there's other ways where people can actually build things up and make a lot of money. So the app you were talking about is extra money, Lolly, extra money, Amazon reseller. You can run an entire business on there eBay flipping is another thing. I think we've got actually somebody that works here, you know, at the office that does eBay flipping. We may have him on the show down the road. Oh, that'd be smart. You know, one of the other things that we want to do, uh, and, you know, we're talking about platforms and how you can actually generate revenue, not just earn while you normally shop, is set up an online business, an online shop, like a merch shop. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's like, I think one of the most popular ones is Shopify. Now, we're actually going to get Harley, who's the founder CEO of Shopify, on the show pretty soon here and that's going to be a great interview because he is an entrepreneur that has proven himself building one of the largest online platforms that you can imagine oh yeah i'm ready for the merch i don't know about you guys but i think it's gonna be rad Lian, i cannot wait for you to be wearing a shirt with my face on it <laughs> wait aren't you supposed to get your own uh, like merch line i i'm supposed to have my own merch line you're supposed to have your own merch line i believe you're supposed to have your everybody gets merch lines yeah. it's oprah in here it's like oprah. merch line for you merch, merch line, line merch you. line merch line, merch line. That's <laughs> well and i think that that's actually really important to understand that everybody can have their own merch line out there correct but listen if you're at home and let's say you're you know 24 years old and you work at gamestop and you got no social media profiles you're not going to just be able to go and open up a a shop and make a bunch of money on correct. it well obviously not everybody can build an online shop and do about a million dollars a quarter like Bryce Hall does, but you got to start somewhere. You got to build your audience. And that's what we're going to do on this show is that we are starting this from scratch, build it up, and we're going to launch a merch line and we're going to check in with you every couple of months and let you know how it's doing. Yeah, that's right. We're going to bring you the best that we can come up with and hopefully you guys enjoy it enough to want to purchase it. Yeah, and I think it's really cool to have some ideas that we can make some shirts. It's kind of like, we're all in this together, you know. This is the new money gang. You guys are part of this. We're doing this together. Because you got to understand one thing about this show. This show is not about us trying to make money or, you know, tell you guys ways that you can go do this and that, and it's going to benefit us. This is really about showing you the real ways to make money online. And we're really excited to share that experience with you. And we're going to go through this together, and it's going to be really cool. Gang, gang, gang. But listen... Here's the thing, okay? What people have to realize is that the reason Bryce Hall was successful is because he had a platform. There's certainly an element of luck involved in getting noticed if you want to be an influencer. And if you didn't know, I think it's 87% of young, uh, young people in America. I, I sound like so old or something like that when I say <laughs> that. But 87% of people high school age want to become influencers. That's what they want to do as a profession. And I would, say, I would argue the other 13% are shy. 
That's if they weren't shy or introverts, they would probably want to do it too. And I, I think that what people have to understand is you have to build a platform to be successful online. Whether it's building a platform for the sake of having a website that sells things and you do it through SEO, in that case, like search engine optimization would kind of be your platform. That's how you build your audience. But most things that people are doing online right now involves growing a platform, it, a place where you can gather attention and people are seeking out your opinions on things. Now, I think becoming an expert in any niche is like obviously the best way to do it. I mean, Leanne's angle is she's a lady angler. <laughs> yeah, speaking of angling, you know, I got to say, I've put a lot of hours on the water. I started off saltwater fishing, and then I had a friend of mine that was like, hey, let's go freshwater fishing. Let's go catch some bass. I was like, okay, sounds good. Well, that was four years ago, and now I'm competitively fishing in bass tournaments and I'm doing very well, but it's taken a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of applying myself and just really honing in on what I wanted to focus on. Well, you know what? It really sounds like you're an expert. And you know what they say is that it takes 10,000 hours to be considered an expert in something. And I've always wanted a shirt that says, who are they? Because they're always saying this, they're saying that, but we don't know who they are. Yeah, That's true. it is definitely true. And, and I think you know, probably one of the biggest misnomers about making money online is that you're going to be able to do it overnight. And, and I can honestly say that when I started my very first online business with the ticket business I was bringing up earlier and selling things through Craigslist, I did have overnight success. Like, I really did overnight. I, I was making six figures in uh, within three months with this new business. See? Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Like, I had never made that kind of money before. I mean, I was working at a car wash before I started that business in 2011. And the thing that I learned is that easy come, easy go. And that business, I built up so quick, but I didn't do the things to give it legs, and it basically disappeared overnight. And with what I've done in cryptocurrency with my platform I've got there, I built it in a different way, trying to keep a longer-term goal in mind. And it was almost a detriment to me to make that much money that fast because it made me think that it was just that easy to do. And building the YouTube channel... I've put so many hours into that. I probably put 10,000 hours into I, it. You know what? One of the things that you and I have talked about this before, and this was, you know, while we're doing the podcast, because you and I have worked together now for about four years or so, is I always considered you to be the James Brown of crypto. I mean, you don't take days off. You're, you're working harder than anyone else. And you've actually, the way that you've grown your platform really has just exploded because of the effort, because of the amount of work that you put in. And like you said, it's not something that you've done overnight. I mean, this has been years in the making and you are reaping the rewards, which is just such a phenomenal thing for me personally to watch you grow and build who you are today. Yeah, no rest for the wicked, man. You're putting no. it out there for sure. Well, I mean, the thing is, is it takes a long time. And when you really want to build a platform, you can't give up overnight. And when I started my YouTube channel, I'm telling you guys, for two years, nobody watched it. Nobody watched I got videos that have, that are in the, the double digit views, still on my channel. Uh -huh. And it's phenomenal now, I post a video and sometimes I'll get, you know, 50,000 views in the first hour. It's not typical, those are some of our better videos. But within one minute, I would actually reach more views on one video now than I would get sometimes in a month wow. on my channel. Wow. And it is a testament to hard work. And I think that's what people have to understand is there's this idea that money on the internet is easy. But you got to put the work on the front end. And if you guys are watching this show and you're thinking that you're going to listen to the show, and this is such a hard message to hear. It really is because I know what you want. I know you want that overnight success. Sick gains. Sick gains. You, Sick gains. You want to, after this episode, walk into your job tomorrow, take your cubicle, knock down the wall, Flip your boss off and say, I'm out of here. I'm done. But you can't do that. You have to slowly build and grind to get to the point where you can do that if that's what you want to do. Uh, but it, it is a testament to hard work, I think. I, I've always said, like, I can outwork anybody in anything. That's, that's always my goal is if I find somebody that works harder than me, like, I'm going to figure out a way to put more in. But still – Balancing family, too. I mean, I don't neglect my family, even though I work as hard as I do. We spend weekends, go trips, you know, try to get home most nights, go to all the ball games. I've never missed a ball game, uh, you know, for my kids and things like that. Uh, but the point is, is hard work is really where it's at. And if you work hard at building a platform, there's no question. And I'm telling you, my YouTube channel is a testament. Two years, 12,000 subscribers. 
in the last one year, we've gained well over 350000 So yeah. yeah, hard work definitely pays off, guys. And if you apply everything that we're showing you guys and you want to put it to a test, which we're going to be showing you guys how to do it, you definitely want to apply it. But don't quit your job just yet. Listen to the ways of the world, the guests we're going to have, the interviews we're going to have. We're going to get really in-depth, nitty and gritty with all of it. You know, there's probably about one more website that I can think of that just the regular person can go on and start doing today, and it's a brokerage site. You know, for example, there's a company in Austin, Texas, where I live called U-Ship. And the cool thing about this is, say you got a pickup truck and you got a trailer. You know, you can go on and you can take loads and it's, you know, it's almost like an auction slash brokerage site. So, for example, I got a motorcycle that I buy in New York and I want to ship it down to Austin. You know, I put it on there and say, you know, I need to get it here from here and, you know, this is when I'd like to do it. And some guy says, oh, I can do that for a thousand bucks. Well, then it goes into the auction and say, well, you know, I can do it for 750. And then the guy who might pick up the load says, actually, I'm already going from New York to Austin. I can do it for 350. And then Zing. boom. That's a great so, idea. So, I mean, I think you probably need a, a commercial license or a DOT number to do that because it's a commercial thing. But, you know, if you've got one of those, you can get in that right now and start making money. That is so cool. I didn't even know that existed. Thank you for enlightening me. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Gosh. And, I mean, there's actually a lot of other sites as well. Uh, like TaskRabbit is one yeah. I know. And there's several other ones. The other ones are kind of fleeting me right now. Tackle, T-A-K-L, that's another one where you can do handyman jobs. And then, of course, you got other freelance stuff you can do on the Internet oh, yeah. through Fiverr, Upwork. There are so many ways to make money online that there's something you can do that nobody else can do, whatever that is. Whatever your passion is, whatever you're passionate about, things that you like, things that you enjoy, you can find a way to make money to do that. You certainly can. You just got to put in a little effort. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I learned a lot today. Now, there's plenty more value coming here on New Money Gang. You guys don't want to miss the next one.